Um, this is Paul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was just looking. I got three days, 19 hours and 40 minutes. Uh huh. Until I'm going to a cell hearing for a crime I didn't commit. Now, um, I'm a little concerned because it seems that there's a real time crunch on this. Mm -hmm. You know, I sent uh, approximately 2,600 uh, emails this morning. And for all of those in law enforcement that thought that uh, I didn't have any rights as an American citizen, mm -hmm. I just wanted to know, did you, did you get any uh, emails from me? Did you get any emails? Because um, as I look at it, yeah, I wasn't in Swim, Washington uh, on December 31st of 2015. Yeah. But you said I was crazy. <laughs> now, I mentioned that you could have went to the Serenity House and they would have documented that I had slept there that night. Yeah. And I, I don't have a driver's license and I don't have a vehicle. So there was no way for me to drive from the homeless shelter to Swim, Washington. You could have looked at the video surveillance camera footage and you would have seen that I was on the bus that morning. Now, if you had enforced my rights for the last two and a half years, I could have said it was a false police report. Yeah. And then um, I could have asked the petitioner. Mm -hmm. Well, why would you file a false police report where you allege that I'd violated the protection order? Yes. Two different times in the same day. <laughs> now, I know as law enforcement, you wouldn't be uh, intentionally obstructing my rights as an American citizen, would you? Mm. You're not getting paid to corrupt the judicial system of the United States. You didn't get paid, did you? Now, um, this cell hearing where you're going to make me go to court again? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, Exhibit A, Jack, uh, the petitioner didn't sign it, and you said that it's not necessary right now. I think it is. Mm -hmm. I provided an email that explained the due process rights, and you're only allowed an ex parte order uh, in the event that the actual domestic violence happens well, on that day, so after the approximate 20th time of reissuing it, yes, um, you you really don't get uh, you don't get to have an ex parte uh, where there's no signature of the petitioner. It's actually a requirement of the law. Now we can look at the Violence Against Women's Act, but I am absolutely sure, yes, that. Um, uh, my rights are being violated. My sons are being held hostage. Pope, now uh, you're really going to press the issue today. I'm telling you. You're going to end up in prison for 20 plus years, 10 years for hate crimes, and then an additional 10 years for kidnapping, <laughs> child abuse, and child abduction, child exploitation. Yeah. Because each and every officer that has the knowledge that I wasn't in Vernon, Washington, I provided a folder. Yes. Of approximately 2,000 email addresses that I had emailed from Port Angeles, Washington on June 16th of 2017. But you won't admit the evidence because you absolutely are sure that you've got to get me in a mental institution so that you won't be sued and you won't go to prison. Yeah. Now, uh, it looks like about 71 years, 192 days, 9 hours, 6 minutes, 18 seconds <laughs> uh, before I'm obligated to off myself so that I don't live past 120 years old. Yeah. Kind of planning a little personal suicide. <laughs> now, I know it might not sound important to you. Yeah. But I'm absolutely sure about this. I'm not living longer than 120. It's somewhat biblical. God was having some problems with <laughs> different individuals that were really corrupt. <laughs> now, I know when we get there, 71 years, 192 days, 9 hours, 5 minutes, and 44 seconds from now. Yes. I'll probably send you an email and say, oh, I'm going to commit suicide. Yes, yes. <laughs> probably make a video of it. <laughs> Everybody, I know. Oh.
wrong guy. <laughs> but my life is kind of being wasted by those that are not enforcing the laws. <laughs> now, when I consider the time crunch I'm under with uh, 71 years and 192 days left of <laughs> the biblical amount of life that I have to live, yes. <laughs> You would think we'd have some sort of urgency. I mean, it's even more urgent than the three days from now. Now, you've wasted a lot of my life, Sheriff. you wasted my life. I want to uh, be very active in exactly what I do. Ouch. Now, did somebody want a police department? You're wasting my life. I only get 120 years. <laughs> There's a big countdown going on about when it's going to end. Poop. And you uh -huh, don't seem to understand yes, that when you decide that you're going to spend my life covering up your crime right now, Sheriff, I'm kind of thinking this criminal complaint, okay, pooch, uh, cyber stalking, yeah, exactly where'd you get that email? What email address did you get that from? Brett, you're wasting my life. You're covering up your corruption and your payments to violate the rights of American citizens. And when I only have 120, well, why didn't I get a phone call? I haven't gotten any phone calls. Nobody has called me. Yes. Mm -hmm. 156. I started approximately seven minutes ago. <laughs> I only have two hours in the study room. And you as a law enforcement, you're, you're wasting time. Now, uh, we have a lot of lawsuits that I... Well, why don't you remove your fraud from the judicial system? Because you're wasting time. Time's not valuable to you, is it? Boom! <laughs> I'm going to need you to enforce the law. 